Hey everyone. So lately I've been getting some traction on a short that I made a little while ago and it was me talking about my neck tattoo. Well, not really talking about it, it was me actually getting my neck tattoo. And I've been getting some comments saying like, oh, mine didn't hurt that bad, mine hurt a lot, blah, blah, blah. I've been getting lots of different comments about the neck tattoo. So today I'm gonna talk about the whole experience, what it was like, and if maybe you should get it too, or maybe you shouldn't, I don't know. I think I got my tattoo exactly a year ago. Like, this time last year. It was by a very, very talented artist. Her name is At Abysmal Arts. So if you're in Vancouver, you're looking to get this type of work done, if you're looking to get some darker work done, definitely go check her out because she's really great. That being said, I think it took about four sessions. The main reason I got it is because obviously, if you've seen my videos before, I'm covered in tattoos, I have them on my stomach, my legs, everywhere. I have tattoos everywhere. And I always said, one day I'm gonna get a neck tattoo, but I don't know when. And I was like, something's gonna come up and that's gonna be my sign to get it. So, ooh, check with the nails. Sheesh, sorry. So, I remember one day I was looking in the mirror and I finally felt it. I was like, okay, I think I'm ready. For some reason, my neck just looked bare to me and I felt like I like something was just missing. I didn't know what, but I looked at my appearance and I was like, like the way I look, I like the way everything is, you know what I mean? But, I think something's missing. I think it's finally time for me to get a neck tattoo. So I asked my cousin, as you guys know, my cousin is Denise. We're very close and she's also a tattoo artist. But she said, you know what? I'm gonna recommend you to my friend Taylor. She's really good. And I think she will be able to do what you have in mind. So I said, perfect. Taylor's great. I've met her before. Let's get started. So session one hurt a lot. I remember the first session. I think we just did this part right here. And I vlogged that. So if you guys want to see the vlogging process or go check my channel. So I vlogged it. It was painful. You know, it wasn't that bad. I've had worse tattoos, but it was a lot of pain. I remember feeling it up here out near my ear felt like shit. I remember it was loud too, but it was okay. Everything went fine. It took about three or four hours to get it done. So we rescheduled the second session for maybe two, three weeks later. And the second session, I decided to work out before my session. I, I'm pretty sure I hadn't worked out in a couple of days. And I was like, you know what? I want to get a workout in before I go get my tattoo. Maybe it'll help me relax a little more. I'll be a little fatigued so I can just relax and get the tattoo. And for some reason, it was by far the most painful tattoo experience I've ever had. And that's where that short comes in that everyone's been watching for, I say this. I'm tough, I can do it. Uh, I mean, you're so tough. You're so fucking tough, you can do it. Manifest it. I'm so tough. Oh, fuck my ass. And the reason I say that is because for some reason I was in so much pain. She was doing near the collarbone and the worst part was my sternum. So, adjust the camera a bit. So my sternum right here, the bone in your chest, I felt like I was getting surgery. I felt like it was getting opened up as I was getting my tattoo done. And I remember my body was shaking. I was trying to sit still and I couldn't. And I felt so bad for at Abysmal Arts because I kept having to take breaks and nothing like that had ever happened to me before. So it was a little embarrassing, but she was really great. And she was very nice. And le she let me take as many breaks as I need, which was great. But all that being said, my second session was absolutely horrible and I was very scared to get my third one done. Now, when I asked her about why it was so painful, she said it might be because you worked out. Now, I don't know how true that is. I, t I take what she says serious because she's the artist, she knows better than me. It has something to do with blood flow and endorphins and adrenaline, I'm not too sure. But my body was shaking uncontrollably and I was in so much pain and it was like a three, four hour session and I was a humongous bitch the whole time. That time I got this done and some outlining. I think we took about a week or two break before I went to do my third session. And that one was pretty painful too, but it was not even close to as bad as the second. The second one felt like shit. I'm telling you, don't work out before you get a tattoo, okay? And eat well. I don't know how well I ate after my tattoo, but it felt so bad. I felt like I was getting surgery. I felt like my chest was being pulled open. And I felt like I was freezing because I was shaking so much. And it felt like absolute Santa Claus shit. So my third tattoo session got done. So it ended up getting finished. She did a very incredible job and I love it. It's one of my favorite tattoos ever. And a lot of people ask me, well, what's life been like ever since you got a neck tattoo? Do people treat you different? Do people this, do people this? Yes, they do. I do get treated different. 
and I'm gonna tell you one quick story about how. On New Year's Eve, I went downtown with some friends. While I was downtown, and my neck tattoo had just gotten done a couple days before, and it was looking real crispy. I was downtown, and I was dancing with someone. I was dancing with a female. And as I was dancing with this female, I felt somebody pull my arm. And I was like, oh, that's probably one of my friends. No idea. So I turned to the side, and there's a random woman pulling my arm. And at first, I was like, what, what's happening? Is it, do I know this person? What, what's going on? And she started pulling me away from the person I was dancing with. And I was like, what the fuck? So I started pulling back. I was like, eh, eh. So I pulled her back and I was like, what are you doing? She's like, let's dance. I was like, whoa. I was like, I'm dancing with somebody. And she just looks at me and then turns around and walks away. And I was like, holy shit. I've never had like a female come up to me and shoot her shot before. I've never had a female aggressively try to dance with me. This shit has never happened. So I went up to one of my girlfriends that was there and I said, hey, are girls into like neck tattoos or something? The girl said, yes, they are. And I was like, wow, this neck tattoo is magic. So the moral of the story is girls find neck tattoos attractive. A couple days after I got a neck tattoo, a girl aggressively tried to dance with me on New Year's Eve. Coincidence? Maybe. But I'm just gonna let it gas me up and I'm just gonna say I look good that night in my neck tattoo. Riz Tura. Basically what I'm trying to say is I love having my neck tattoo. I work in an office some days as well. I've never had any problems speaking with executives. I didn't have problem getting a job while I had a neck tattoo. I didn't have problems with anyone. When people say getting a neck tattoo makes you look like a thug, a gangster, you shouldn't get it. How are you gonna get a job? I got a job while I had a neck tattoo. I talk to executives while I have a neck tattoo. As long as you're responsible, you're respectful, it doesn't matter what tattoo you have unless you have crazy shit all over your face, in my opinion. But even then, if you show what type of person you are, it doesn't matter what's on your skin, okay? You can get a job with a neck tattoo, you can get a job with a face tattoo, as long as you're qualified, you're polite, and you're a good worker. So, if that's what's stopping you from getting a neck tattoo, don't be so insecure, figure it out, and get one. You only live once, bitch, YOLO. So yeah, that's kind of the story. I know that's kind of a random story. I'm kind of all over the place, but that is my experience having getting a neck tattoo. That's my experience having a neck tattoo. That's my experience in the corporate world having a neck tattoo. No one has ever said anything. I've only gotten compliments and I've only had women try to aggressively dance with me at a club. So we get it. But what do you guys think? Would you get a neck tattoo? Let me know in the comments down below and we can have a discussion. But guys, if you have any more questions about any of my tattoos, let me know. We'll talk. We can do this again, okay? And if you want to do this again, remember to subscribe so we can. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.